So we're into part two of importing a Xlight sequence onto your layout. Um, hopefully you watched part one first. So we've imported uh, the generic effects onto your layout. Uh, in particular for this blinding lights sequence sample that we, we was using, we've got faces on the mega tree uh, to because we have the mega tree singing, Abel from Blinding Lights is singing along in certain parts. Now, when we packaged up this sequence, we actually created a video file and incorporated that in the top of the um, sequencing order there on the mega tree um, to make it easier for you guys. But if you wish to use these native um, X side effects, um, you will need to assign a face. To your mega tree. The reason why we're explaining this because there's a couple of other sequences out there which have you know singing faces on mega trees or matrices. Um, so it's the same sort of process. So we're just going to delete that uh, AVO file and video file. And if we clicked on there, you'll notice how mega tree's gone all red. Uh, it's missing the face definitions because we've got a, a face effect here. Look, there's a couple other one on effects under it to make him look cool but it's missing the face definitions on the mega tree that's why it's all red in this particular part of the sequences now there's some other parts on this sequences where it's actually um, scroll over it's lots of um, photos essentially uh, they've all been cropped together when we did our original import they got all transferred across okay it's just the red section in here is because this singing face is not being set up. It's looking for the face definition able on your tree or your matrix, uh, and it's not there. So what we've got to do is set it up, and it's really simple. So in your layout screen, select your mega tree or your matrix, matrix that you had. We're just going to scroll down to faces and click, click the little button there, select that. It's, it's showing that it's all red. Um, so we wish to add a, we might have to um, add, select add, we're going to call it able, select for a new face, okay. Um, sometimes it'll be default to single nodes, but we want matrix. And this will bring up this screen here where we can define certain images for each one of these mouth images. Um, so with this blinding light sequence, we're only using the eyes open um, images. Some singing faces have eyes closed. It's quite simple. So we're going to double click on the E. It's telling us, you know, choose an image file for mouth eyes open. So what we have to do is find those images within your show folder. Now, when we did that earlier um, import process, that new process for 2021, it's created a couple of new uh, folders for us. One of them is imported media, and the other one was downloaded faces. So we're actually looking for a face image. So we're gonna go into downloaded faces. Remember, this is in your show folder, Christmas. Downloaded faces. And there's all the able faces, which have been um, made by us to go on your tree. So remember, we was looking for choose image file for mouth, E, eyes open. So we don't have any eyes closed as part of this sequence. We've only got some eyes open ones. So Xlights is really nice and smart. Remember, it's E, eyes open. So we go able, E. And it pre-populates these other ones for you, which is really good. Now, if you had another sequence, um, you might need to go into this eyes closed. Um, no, double click in there and it will ask you again if there was any eyes closed images to use, but we don't have any. And you just find the eyes closed one and select that. So we've got that set up. Uh, we've called it able, we've made it a matrix. We we're assigned each one of these mouth images um, to each 
one of the mouth movements, we can click OK. Big step here, we need to select Save. So if we select Save, and now that's assigning each one of those you know, pictures on your matrix to each one of the mouth movements. Now, if you had two mega trees, you may have essentially got to set them up or you can copy it from one of the others, but most people have starting off or only got one. Or if you're going to apply them to a matrix, you would apply them to that. So now we'll come back to our sequencer. And hopefully if we click, there we go. Um, now we're utilizing the native effects from Xlights. Uh, throughout the sequence. I won't play it because it's got audio and YouTube will probably kill it. Um, but all those face movements now are lined up to these lyric tracks. So it's telling us uh, this face uh, is using timing track Able Lyric. That's all these ones here. Uh, for the face definition Able because that's what we you know we saved it the same. If you'd saved it as something else uh, in face, uh, if you called your, when you set up those images as something else, you just have to find it in that drop down menu. So that's importing face effects onto your mega tree. Now for some reason if you, we'll just take this a little bit further, if you chose to think, oh I want to use the native Excites effects and you think, oh, it's actually, I don't like the look of it. I want to go back to using um, the video file. You, you simply can, uh, which we provide you in this sequence. You will just apply a video effect at the top. Notice it's gone all red again because it's telling us, Xlights is telling us that we don't have a video file selected. So we'll select Browse. Uh, back to our show folder. Christmas was in our show folder. It can get a little bit confusing jumping around folders. We just got to try and follow ourselves through. Um, when we did that original import, we ended up with an imported Medias folder. So we'll select that. Again, the weekend blinding lights. Now it's going to be as a video because it's a .avi folder. And then we called it the Weekend Blinding Lights Mega Tree Effects. You can apply that onto there. And so if you had a lower resolution or lower density tree and you didn't like how these effects were working, you might want to try that. But there is an important step you need to do then. And that is you know, put an off effect under it because of the rendering order. So that's applying the face effects on your mega tree. Um, for this blinding light sequence. I hope you've followed along okay. Thank you.